Uh, I've got roughly, oh, I don't know, two minutes of something worth to say, and ten minutes of a YouTube algorithm to fucking satisfy ten minutes. Fucking hell. <clears throat> so, give me a minute while I piddle aimlessly. If it's the aesthetic appeal of I just woke up at 4 a.m. <coughs> I have yay so much stuff to say and yay so much time to put it into. Oh joy rapture. Nobody knew this about me, or rather the physical body I inhabit. Nobody fucking knew. Because when I inhabited this body, when it was six years old, the human that was, it just had a heart attack. I've been using my magic or power or whatever the fuck you want to quantify it as. I could explain how it works all the way down to the fucking plank length if you want, but it doesn't help you understand jack fucking shit. It won't help you develop your own magic or power or whatever the fuck you want to quantify it as. But I've been using... For the sake of argument, my own magic. To keep this fucking heart going. <clears throat> As of recently, well, in the last few years... <clears throat> it's taken its toll. And it doesn't help that everyone, including you, you know who you are, have been adding stress. I know a great deal of what I want to accomplish, how to accomplish it, what I need to accomplish it, what I want to accomplish, what I need to accomplish, how to accomplish these things. And a great deal about the things inhibiting me from accomplishing what I want and need to accomplish. Oh! <laughs> 
last time I said things were this shitty in a uh, video vlog thingy, someone gave that fucking boilerplate knee jerk stay positive bullshit. That doesn't fucking help me. It doesn't help anyone. All it does is help you feel better about yourself. Self-adulatory bullshit is what it is. I don't want or need that. If I wanted self-adulatory praise, I would go find someone who's a fucking sycophant. <laughs> and I'm not so shallow and stupid and dumb and ignorant and naive as to go out and hunt one of those. It would be a short-lived thing. It wouldn't help at all. All it would do is wind up pissing me off. It's in my goddamn mailbox. I get enough of those. <clears throat> Even though I'm not at a point where And I'm going to be completely honest, there will never be a point where doing YouTube just with the base level bullshit of you achieve this many numbers. Now you can see the yellow demonetized piss mark we're going to plaster all over your channel because we don't like you. <coughs> There's never going to be a point where that's viable. Maybe it will be viable for like one out of every fucking 300 or so videos. But it'll never be sustainable. Not being honest. Not being, well, me. Well, that sounds like a firmware problem. Right now, at this very moment, I have zero, zero monetization, zero Patreon, zero PayPal support, zero support. Just because you click the button that says subscribe and all of that jazz handsy bullshit doesn't mean a damn thing. Maybe it meant something 
20 years ago on YouTube. But today, it doesn't mean jack fucking shit. If you want to blither on about bullshit advice that doesn't help anyone but you feel better about yourself, then go on your PC or your laptop, click the links in the description, throw some fucking fallacy credits my way, and then, then say something stupid. Even better if you go on to Patreon, because I hardly log into that, and it's just there because it's an option that you can use to throw some fucking fallacy credit my way. <clears throat> Let's see, PayPal, Patreon, and then the others that I set up because, fuck it, different people want to use different things. So there's all the options I could find cur currently. Even better on Patreon, because you'll get to say all the dumb shit you want without fear of being kicked off unless you say something really fucking stupid. Basically along the lines of go fucking kill yourself or some stupid shit like that. Just because you're going to be a Patreon supporter doesn't mean you get the privilege of being an abject fucking asshole. That being said, still... You do have my permission to call me a fucking idiot. Just not outside the context of, haha, that's funny, thanks for permission to do so. <clears throat> Let me be clear. That context is implied. It's not something that you're mandated to fucking say. You can plaster that all over the comment section if you want. Just don't spam everyone else out of being able to leave a fucking comment. If you want to do something meaningful to help me throw fallacy credit my way, and don't give me fake fucking advice. Like, chin up, slugger. It'll get better. Because no, it fucking won't, first of all. Second of all... If you haven't dreamt of killing your family, you don't know what stress is. Why? I could get that if the YouTube channel from Jim Sterling was saying something about that. But Upper Echelon Gamers, why? The dating show disaster of Twitch? Why, dude? Fucking why? Is that just something you're doing because right now shit's kind of quieting down in the gaming sphere of things? Usually you don't touch shit like that. Why? <clears throat> oh, yeah. 
if you're hoping that I'll go on saying things about political bullshit, yeah, I don't want to get pissed off. I've got enough problems without my heart trying to fucking explode from stress. Enjoy it while it used to last, because I don't want to fucking do it anymore. I've said all I have to say about it, including what's going to happen with the zombie apocalypse. Come to think of it, there was one more thing I thought of saying. Oh, I know what I'm doing with the zombies when they, uh, when they come about. Time to crucify some former fucking retards and idiots who pissed me the fuck off locally. Oh wait, that'll just attract more of them. Well, I know some fucking senators and whatnot who might just appreciate the irony of having a crucified zombie in their yard that attracts more to eat their brains out. And yes, that is satire and highly sarcastic. <clears throat> I don't have enough hammer and nails and wooden planks to do that with. Come to think of it, that's as good as reason as any to segue and to click the links in the description on your laptop or PC and throw fallacy credit my way. Also, 58 people chose to click subscribe. How many of you actually fucking watch this shit? I mean, I can go and see numbers on whatever, but... Seriously, how many of you fucking watch anything that I make? Also, that, that's a milestone for me on, on my fucking YouTube channel. Just personally, that's a fucking milestone. And I'm nearly back to a thousand videos. 991. I enjoy Rapture. Pretty soon, YouTube's gonna delete my fucking channel again. And that'll be a running gag for a while. Maybe even permanently. Because I've had five fucking previous channels deleted. Without warning, without provocation. Just up, oh, deleted. No fucking raisins were given. Physically, not mentally and emotionally. Well, for example, yeah, I can scroll through the list of videos I've got and see that uh, Red Faction Gorilla Remastered number 12 got 12 views. That doesn't mean there were people who watched all the way to the end doesn't mean jack all fucking shit. It's just a number. Did anyone enjoy it? No one even bothered to click like or dislike. That doesn't tell me jack fucking shit. For some of the things I've made, 
in the past week. I've seen one and two likes. Uh, hang on, I'll scroll through over here and go and look at those and just blither on about which videos they were. Uh, Hydronair feedback on harvard harvesters, etc., etc. That got two likes, seven views. Yeah, what amounts to me pointing my fucking camera phone at my dinky ass laptop because I don't have proper recording hardware and software. Oh joy, somebody actually enjoyed that. As shitty as a quality as it was of a video. What's another one that I can look at and say, that got so many uh, people liking it. Uh, my f first video I did about Hydronail Hydro here, Unreal Engine, the physics and whatnot. 19 total views, one like. Where's the other one that got two likes? Oh, yeah. The one I'm fucking put up as a channel trailer ad for 2021. Two likes, one dislike. The only reason it has 223 views is because it's featured advertisement for my fucking channel. This video is just an update vlog. And then going back from there, most of what was getting more views was all the stressful, satiristic, political garbage that I'd spewed out of a hole in my neck. If you're wondering... I sat down and hammered out four of those Red Faction game videos per day for a while just to get those finished with. And I actually did enjoy playing Red Faction Armageddon on Insane, the highest difficulty it had, with the game's unlockable system where you earn these so-called cheats, they're just unlockables at that point. They're not cheats. A cheat is something that doesn't sit there in the game waiting for you to uncover it. That's not a cheat. A cheat comes from an external source <coughs> and is used to subvert the rules of the game those unlockables were programmed into the game, and there's an achievement for actually buying one of them. So they're not cheats, they're unlockables. That's the way a lot of games should function in their single player storyline, and even in their co-op storyline. And I could blither on aimlessly knowing that no one's going to give a fuck to listen about that. But I'm not going to. You want to do something meaningful to help me out? I know what I need and want to accomplish and how to do so. And unfortunately, it all revolves around the almighty, great toilet plunging dollar. Don't be shy. Go on your laptop or your PC. Go into the links. PayPal, Patreon, whatever flavor of support you give a fuck for. And throw some fallacy credits my way. Don't give me advice about the stock market. 
All you'll succeed in doing is looking like a fucking moron and pissing me off. I know more about how the financial system of the entire planet and how it works than your average fucking mongoloid. Don't give me advice. Unless you're one of those top point zero zero one percent and you've got a plan, you won't be leaving advice in the comments. <coughs> You'll just straight up be sending me a fucking email. So unless you're one of those people, don't bother giving me advice. It's not going to help. Because an idiot with uh, an Xbox Live gamer tag known as Vitable tried to suggest I go and buy into fucking the GameStop bullshit right as it was being exposed. Right when it had already hit its highest value and was going to do nothing but plunge. Don't give me advice financially. It's just going to make you look like a fucking retard. If you don't want to look like a fucking retard, don't do it. You're not a financial advisor. You're not one of the insiders in the industry. Your opinion amounts to jack fuck all. Go fuck yourself. If you don't like me saying that, Fuck off, don't ever return. I don't need or want that level of stupidity causing me stress. I've said it before, now I'm saying it again in the same damn video. If you want to contribute to helping me out, use the fucking links. Go become a patron or a PayPal supporter. Then throw your stupid, bullshit, non-helpful advice out. Don't expect me to give a fuck about it, follow it, or even pay attention to it. Because that's most likely not going to fucking happen. I've got a fucking life to live. I've got ideas that I want to turn into plans, that I want to turn into actualized things. You contributing some fallacy credit will go a long way. If you really want to fucking help more than that, go get other people to fucking subscribe and watch. Other people to which the content that I mindlessly fucking dribble on about may, in some form, seem appealing or enjoyable to them. Not just some random fucking moron who's just gonna dislike everything and comment, you're fucking trash and garbage. Someone to whom what I do is fucking relevant. Which is, I'm just gonna be blithering on through whatever game I can with the occasional odd vlog. And no, I'm not gonna continue satirizing political garbage. It's a dumpster fire. That's all you need to know about politics. That's it. It's the same old shit, different time and day. That's it. There's really nothing to it. Unless you're really fucking weird and watching political satire gets some sort of brain chemistry going that causes you to have an erection or a fucking orgasm, in, in which case, you're on the wrong channel. I would suggest Jim Sterling for that. He'll even dress up as a woman for you. In fact, he actually already has. That's enough said. If political satire gets your rocks off or gets your clit wet, go watch Jim Sterling. You're not going to get it from me. He's better at doing it. He has the budget to dress up like the whore he's acting like. And he actually enjoys or seems to enjoy his political satire. Albeit most of it's directed at the video game's idiots. But still... 
it's a form of political satire. Now, as far as someone who does what he does on actual bureaucrats in politics, I have no fucking clue. I'm not going to go hunting for somebody that does that. If you want Jim Sterling to do that, go ask him. Don't ask me. I don't have the budget for makeup. And my skin's too beautiful for makeup anyway. <coughs> oh, wow. I've went on for 30 minutes as opposed to 10. Well, I've said what needed to be said for getting a load of stress off my chest. I still don't feel any better. <laughs>